everybody, this is Getty with Georgia Firing Line, and we're back on Suppressor Talk, talking about the Huxworks HXQD and 556, and why this might be your next can. So just by taking one look at this thing, it should be awfully reminiscent of the OSS suppressors from back in the day. Well, Huxworks is now flying the flag in place of OSS, and they use very similar but improved technology. Of course, what made the OSS and now the Huxworks so prevalent is their flow-through technology. The main purpose of this flow-through tech is to cut down on the back pressure coming back into your gun. And there's several benefits attached to having a low back pressure can. Mainly being that there's less toxicity and less gunk and material coming back through back pressure into your system. Your system meaning your gun, your gas system, your upper receiver, you get the idea. But the other being that attached to that, your gun can maintain a little bit more reliability if it's finicky when it comes to suppressors. So this goes out to anybody who has a semi-automatic gas operated rifle that maybe doesn't like having a can on it. Well, now you've got the Hux works to bail you out. But to me, one of the coolest things about Huxworks as a company is their mission statement. I'm gonna read this right off their website. We're gonna do it together. Huxworks Safety Company is a human exposure workshop dedicated to building products that are optimized for the safety and health of our customers without compromising efficiency and performance. And that reads really well, but why is that interesting? Well, with the reduced back pressure, that also means you've got less lead and gases coming back into the shooter. For example, on an AR-15, the gas that's escaping under the charging handle might make you tear up a little bit. You're breathing a noxious fume. Now, ultimately, that's up to you to weigh how large on the scale this is going to vary your decision. But at least with the Hux works, if you combine this with something like a venting charging handle or something like that, you're able to virtually eliminate the gas coming back in the receiver. And I bring this up, frankly, because for some of us that are more health conscious than others, this is actually a decision worth making. Now the HX in the name stands for the helical design of the baffles. Your gas is actually gonna be moving in a spiral all venting towards the front of the suppressor where the, you know, the other dangerous thing comes out. And if you look very closely at the front, you'll notice that there's several venting gas ports in the front. So if you're shooting a supersonic caliber like 5.56, for example, you also maintain some kind of compensation effect. So in this case, you have a device that threads onto the front of the gun via their flash hider that not only mitigates the sound, making it safer for the shooters and everybody in your environment for shooting, it's also going to mitigate the flash and mitigate a little bit of the recoil, as well as controlling the directive flow of the gases. I think safety is a great way to sum this thing up. And recently, Huxworks has also dropped these in 7.62 as well. So for my 30 caliber brethren, you've got your 7.62s, your 308s, as well as your 300 blackouts with all the versatility and the features wrapped up into what makes these HX suppressors pretty cool. And I do think that their flash hider looks pretty sick. I love the helical design and the big open vents are gonna allow all the gas to escape into the suppressor the way it's supposed to. So this one is short, sweet, and to the point, we really like these suppressors and frankly, they sound really good on a multitude of platforms. And in case anybody's wondering, yes, they are full auto rated. The provided flash hider or muzzle brake also takes advantage of their torque lock system. And the torque lock is a toolless locking system that ensures the suppressor stays mounted during shooting which we all know that QD is the preferred method over direct thread because of that. So to kind of wrap this whole thing up into one neat little package, what makes this so enticing is that you can take this and mount it onto your system without having to modify your bolt or change anything about your spring rates or tune your gas system because of the flow through design. So that very quickly wraps up our look at the HX556 from Huxworks. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below or reach out to us on any of the social media platforms. We're on all of them and we'll be happy to answer your questions and walk you into what's appropriate for you. My name is Getty. Be safe.